What? You know what good neighbor should be like? No. Good neighbor should be the person that doesn't put the password on their Wi-Fi so we can steal it. <laughs> <laughs> from Penang guys we fell on trying to find the street art so today we tried to go back and it's not that we failed it was just so packed oh, full right. of people like we found it not exactly what it's hot huh not quite what we expected there's literally a street full of people all in line for this one piece of artwork I mean it is really cool and it's a great way to uh, you know see the town because the street art is not in one location. It's like spread out throughout all of the art district is in it Georgetown. It's not even in multiple stands, yeah? No, the map that we saw seems to be that they're pretty spread out. Mm. The art district's pretty big from what it looks like on the map. But we tried to, we're gonna try and beat the crowds today. We were supposed to start out a lot earlier than we were, but if you let us on a computer at all in the morning, it's game over. <laughs> So then you can just put the phone here and then... I want to get a suction cup for here. Suction there? So then how can you see the... the phone will sit there. You don't care how fast you drive? So you nah. don't care to see the kilometer per hour? Nah. <laughs> I don't even know how fast the kilometers an hour are. I go in miles an hour. <laughs> Two things. It's crowded again. But not that bad. What's wrong? Huh? Do you realize that? Look at it. This is a kid. Yeah, upside down. Right now it's 9 a.m. in the morning and at first I thought it would be like slam pack, but it's not. That's so cool. We are playing for charity. Yeah, look at this storefront. Even the gates are different pieces of artwork, wire artwork, painting artwork, sh like structure artwork is everywhere. Fun fact, all the street art like that is created by the Lithuanian guy who come here, the Lithuanian artist who comes to Pina. That's pretty interesting. Yeah. Now, when you're down here in the art district, there's tons and tons of stores. wondering what is this? No idea. Tons and tons of different stores and souvenirs and oil shops and clothes shops. So, you can get just about any souvenir you could want. If you see the Kaya bag like this, it's really remind me of Bali. A lot of like handmade bamboo, bamboo and circle, different stuff, yeah. circle, and it has to be circle. Really, circle bags. Yeah, really remind me of Bali though. Some people even call it Bali bag. It's getting so hot in Penang now, guys. At ten. That's one way. I don't know where to go. Fortunately, there is some shit here. <laughs> right in front of me. Jim, what? look it. What I don't know. That's what really threatened me. Because it's written in Malaysian. In Malayu, I think. Yeah, I, I would assume Malayu. And <laughs> it said RM500. Alright, so behind me is the Indian on the boat man. Indian man on the <laughs> boat. <laughs> Indian on the boat man. Indian <laughs> man <laughs> on the boat. It's quite different, and then I come to find out that the building here is actually before It's the building in the pre-war period of Penang So this is the way how it looked in the pre-war period So this one is uh, the Klang Street, as you can see, I think the Bu mean, means street Pre-war townhounds That's why this area is so 
it's so different like since we r rode the motorbike past this area i was like wait the building around here is kind of like different and then come to find out that's because they never undergo restoration of this place actually this area like once it was the capital of selangkang i think i speak it correctly selangor sorry <laughs> Ah. The, the place we were going to eat is closed again. Yeah, that's Second good. place that's closed. Okay. Parang kota lama. Parang kota lama. Beside the where all the drive Beside the fair. You got the the tent. The uh, yeah, restaurant. Got restaurant. It looked like this. Right? It looked like this. Oh, okay. Thank, Thank you. you. I need food. Let's go. The local just told us a good place to eat. That's like right down the road. So hopefully uh, this place is open. Hopefully this place is open. It's weird, like some of the restaurants in Penang are open at certain times like throughout the day. Like they'll be open in the morning, but not in the afternoon, or they'll be open at night, but not in the morning. And then, so it's really hard to tell because most of them don't say it online. Keep going straight, it's going to be on your right hand side. Oh, it's by the beach. Nice. What beach is it? Look at that. Look at the wall. Nice. The cruise ship. At first I thought it's, I thought it's a building. Excuse me, are you from here? Yeah. Oh. Right here. Let's eat here. Yeah, get off. I you got it. Look at the background. Oh, hot outside. That was the second local that told us to go someplace and it was closed. So finally, we found the third local that told us because the first place we researched was closed. Is there any place around here that has food? Uh, like a cafe? Cafe? Uh, just just go straight. Yep. Uh, you you see a white building on your right. Honey, come here. Honey, 85 cafe. Uh, 12 cup. Yeah. The next local gave us and sent us to 12 cup. This is 12 cup, yeah? Oh, 12 cup. It's a cafe, basically. Oh, this so much. It smells so bitchy. I am starving, thirsty, and ready to eat. I don't want to eat it. It's so hot. It's like being here, it's so it's just a weird feeling because it gives me in such a good mood, like in such a joyful moment because there are so many food to choose. But then I was like, oh, I want noodle. And then I walk a little bit further and then I see duck and rice. I was like, oh, I want duck and rice. And then I walk a little bit further. I see like a curry. I want curry. And then when it's noodle, there are so many Thai noodles. There are like fish noodle. They are like the um, what's that? The wonton mee. There is like a Hokkien mee. There is a like laksa. There is like so many kind of noodle. And I was like, okay, from noodle subcategory, so many noodle. I still don't know what to eat. So I will go for the drink first. I will get coffee bang. That's why I really love eating at places like this because there's so many options. No matter what you really have the taste for that day or you're in the mood for, you can really find it. Uh, can I actually have you this one? Uh, M12? Uh, right there. Thank you. This is the cutest girl in the world. What to eat? What should I eat? Still can't tell? No. Alright, I've seen a lot of people in Malaysia have these and I've never seen them other than here in Malaysia. They're called a hundred plus. I think it's like like a Gatorade water. It's like an ISO drink. So I'm pretty sure this is like a Gatorade water. Pretty interested to try it. Ta got coffee and this thing is like brown. It's so strong. I'm gonna be like <laughs> by the time I'm done. You look so like a you look like a park falling that. in swimming pool. That's really good. What it tastes like. Kinda tastes like a lemon lime soda, but not very carbonated. A little carbonated but not a lot. But it's supposed to have a lot of nutrition in it. What'd you get? Uh, this is spicy wonton meat. Wonton is like um, dumpling. I love wonton. Yeah, wonton. 
One time it's like dumpling, it's like this. So good. Yes, and then me, then noodle. Of course. <sighs> I think it's not that a big that big of a deal, eh? No. It's so so good. I haven't had food like this in so long. Mm. That is Taiwanese food. I saw it. It's a Taiwanese specialty. Taiwan specialty. It's like super Super soft, well cooked pork with a fried egg over a white rice. It comes with some vegetables, boiled vegetables, and some like pork sauce as well, mixed with pork chunks. This is like a broth, I think. Yeah, it's, a, it's like, a, like a pork broth from what they boil part of the pork in, and then they fry it, and it's so good. So happy. It is like, like we have it, we try it the first time within one second we both were like wow. That's like my favorite so dessert happy. I've ever had. If you guys come to Penang <laughs> If you guys come to Penang and you guys don't come and try Shin Dou, I will be really mad. <laughs> Yeah. 